eye on health is live tonight. More crews are spraying for mosquitoes in North Texas. We have talked about that with you. They're hoping to fight West Nile virus. We've even seen several human cases in our area and really around the country. Last week, Denton reported three human cases. And today we learned that Dr. Anthony Fauci had to stay in the hospital for almost a week after he contracted the virus. Thankfully, he's now home recovering. But we do have to start off with this topic. We've got Dr. Carol Wallowe from Baylor Scott and White with us tonight. First question is we've seen kind of how the cases are piling up in our state. Um, symptoms we should watch for. And is there any one particular group of people that's maybe more at risk of getting it? Yes, so you want to watch for fatigue, fevers. Uh, in serious cases, you can also see tremors, mm. dizziness, confusion. At, at this point still, about 80% of people who contract this virus um, will be fine okay. and may not feel anything. Okay, so that's good news. Anybody that's more susceptible, and also I guess some people get a bite and they say, oh, no big deal. Is there anything to look for on the actual bite that may be a sign that this is West Nile? Unfortunately not. Okay, hardest part about it, right? Yes, Can't see it. Okay. yes. And we're more concerned about those um, with low immune systems, elderly, people taking medications on cancer treatments, things like that, that can decrease their immune system. Okay, good reminders. From Remind us how we can protect ourselves from this, because I know, you know, the, the spraying is going on. We'll always say mosquito um, spray, long clothing. Is there th anything else we can do? Uh, repellent is big, long clothing, as you said. If you can stay inside in the AC, that's great. Make sure you have screens on your windows mm. and doors, because this heat that we have, humidity, the wet, wetness of the spring, mm -hmm. all of that is what they like. Yeah, we don't like that. Standing water too, right? No exactly. standing water. Okay. Another health headline that we're going to, you're getting a double whammy here that, that we want to talk about. This is from a study in the Netherlands. Can you, it's about high blood pressure. Yes. Can you talk to us about how this study is linking blood pressure and migraines in women specifically? Yes. So this study, they looked at 7,000 men and women, average age around 67 years old. And they found a link between diastolic blood pressure. So your blood pressure, you have the cuff, mm -hmm. they check, you have a top number and a bottom number. We like 120 over 80. Okay. 80 is that diastolic number, and that is the time when your heart is relaxing. That top number is when it's contracting, doing all the work. During the relaxation is actually when your heart gets all the blood that it needs. Mm -hmm. So when that number is high, you're putting some stresses on the heart, you may not be getting that blood. And that's what we're seeing is this link with women and migraines. And I mean, a lot of women, a lot of people get he headaches or migraines and they kind of write it off, right? Yes. But what is the link between our heart health the study that you're talking about and the migraines that we're seeing in women? Great question. Actually, a few years back, we saw similar studies looking the opposite direction. Mm. So are migraines actually causing high blood pressure, higher risk of cardiovascular disease, strokes, heart attacks? Now, this study is the first to really look at it the other way and saying, actually, maybe it's that pressure, specifically that low number, the diastolic mm -hmm. bottom number, that's causing the migraine. And it's something you wouldn't even think of because you're thinking if my blood pressure is healthy, 120 over 80, then I'm I'm good to go. Yes. Okay, now we, we know everybody is different, literally. Yes. How is this different for men? How is it different for women? Very interesting. Men didn't have this issue. Huh. 7,000. <laughs> and we didn't see it in men. Uh, they, they also looked at blood pressure, mm -hmm. diabetes, education levels, solving for all of these things. It really seemed to focus more on women. We're not sure why. Okay. Maybe differences in hormones is what they're leaning towards at this it's point. It's always us aren't we? Isn't it? Just Sorry. stuck with something all the time. Okay, lowering our blood pressure. Why is that important? For more than one reason. I know there's a host of reasons that that's important, but what would you say maybe the top three are? Heart health. Decrease your risk of stroke. Um, decrease your risk of diabetes mm -hmm. complications. So when we have, we stack on high blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease, all of these can increase your likelihood of dying before you need to. All different, don't want that. yeah, all good reminders to get that blood work. Yes. Ask your doctor questions. If you have it, don't be afraid to ask questions. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Wellaway. We always love having you in here. All right, Dougie, I'll send it back to you.